good, y'all? John D. Saunders here. And as you know, I am a huge fan of operating procedures and developing systems in your business so you can scale, delegate, and all that good stuff. So I wanted to show you an inside scoop of how I organize all of our web design projects so all of our team members know at a bird's eye view where a project state is, where we are in the process of developing that site, and how they can make changes and updates to that. So here we have Asana. This is the task management system we use. They have both a free and a premium model. You can get away with a ton with the free tools that they provide. And so what we like to do is we like to organize projects in these segments. And so we have almost like these cards here where we have them organized based on the category. So when we get into the design and the development process of a website, we usually start by creating a sitemap. Then we'll move into website content doc, right? So we'll either collaborate with a copywriter or we'll leverage our internal team to develop the copy with the client for the site. Then we move into low fidelity wireframe. As you all know, a low fidelity wireframe looks kind of like this. It's basically what the site looks like without all of the bells and whistles. So it's really just frames, content, and it looks pretty plain, but it shows the client a specific type of view of what the site will look like on desktop, mobile, or multiple device type. So here is an example of one uh, that we created. So you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. So you can see it's got the logo. We have the main menu here and content here. So that's the low fidelity wireframe. Then when it comes to high fidelity, a high fidelity wireframe is essentially what the site is going to look like. So the reason we do low fidelity and high fidelity because it gives us an overall architecture of the site and what it will look like. So this is an example of a site that is currently uh, in high fidelity. So we've designed out the layout and now we're working from there. So now team members can actually see at a bird's eye view how that project looks in this Asana board and they can see where we are in the timeline of the project. So. Um, also website development, that's pretty self-explanatory. That means the site is in development after high fidelity. So once the designer gets those high fidelity designs, now they can go and they can go and develop the site and they have all the assets and tools that they need. Now quality assurance is the process after development where we go through each page, make sure links are working properly, make sure we set up titles and meta descriptions and all that good stuff. And then we jump into website launch and website management. Now, the reason I've broken this up into sections is because over the years, it's just been easier to see it at this eye view without knowing, uh, it just helps you know where you are in the project. And any team member, whether they're a designer, developer, account manager, or even if you're just a freelancer and you're looking to really organize your process, this is a great way to do it. Now, if you click in now, what we usually do for these jobs is we have the client acronym, we give every client a specific acronym, that way we know who we're referring to and we can share these acronyms within Slack. And then well, we have the title, which is Webflow Web Development. This is what we're doing for this client. So if I click in there, it will show me all the specific tasks that need to be completed as a part of this job. And the way I do that is I segment those into subtasks. So for example, we have low fidelity wireframe and then all the options here. We have high fidelity wireframe, the options here and then it goes through the entire process. And this has everything every team member is a part of and assigned explicitly to that person so that way we know that we're getting the job done. Now to precursor the web design and development process, we also have a similar thing in design. So before we even get into design and development, let's say we're bringing on a brand new client. If we're bringing on a brand new client, that means we're probably going to do their brand identity, which is logo, brand guidelines, all that good stuff. And so what we like to do is segment that into three sections. Sorry, three. <laughs> we have to do, we have in progress, and then we have in review. And once it passes in review and goes to completed, essentially that job will be, be moved to web dev. So if we look at this project, for example, branding and UI, you can see that we start with logo design, then once approved, we have specific tasks, and then we jump into the design sketch website wireframe. And then once that's completed, it goes straight into web dev. So again, I just wanted to show you what that looks like, give you kind of a bird's eye view of how you can organize your projects to help explicitly tell clients what's going on, have your team members know where you are in the project and how close you are to your ultimate goal. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're looking for training and things like this, there's a link in my bio, check it out. It's my web design studio accelerator where I teach you tactics like this to grow your biz. Otherwise, check out my other YouTube videos. I have tons of free resources for you to use and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.